have had to sit on this one for a while. This is the new RC four-wheel drive Trailfinder 2 Scottsdale. Now you may be saying, well, they already leased a K10, but this one's better. It's not necessarily a V2, but it's got a couple of cool options and upgrades from the first one to make it even cooler. I got the red one. <laughs> really? But it also comes in black and it looks tasty. That's some good looking box art. Like, look at that engine bay, what? It's available online right now on their website. If you've never really looked at RC four wheel drive, man, the quality is top notch. And the scale details, oh, chef's kiss. All right, let's open it up. <laughs> well, there's more stuff in here. Oh, oh, oh God. So when I say 100% RTR, I mean it does come with RC four wheel drive, AA batteries, a charger, and a 3,000 mil er, er, and a 3,000 milliamp nickel metal high drive two cell. You're probably gonna want to upgrade that to a lipo, but it'll work to get you out of the gate. So ready to run means some assembly required, but you've got all the parts to get going. Yeah. Come out of there! Wow! Oh yeah! Snacks, woohoo! <laughs> Those feel amazing. If you've ever purchased RC four wheel drive wheels before, you know what I'm talking about. Most RTRs come stock out of the box with garbage wheels. Oh, I can't even, and the detail. That feel good? We'll get to this in a minute. We'll get back to this. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah. Whoa. Ah. Ah. Wow! Oh my God! <laughs> Man, a speechless. Like I, I, I don't. I honestly don't even know what to say. The paint job is amazing. Look at the metallic fleck in that. Wow! It has to be the nicest RC body I have ever seen. That is something else. Holy cow! I almost can't even. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Incredible! There are even Gucci pipes! There's even stickers on the batteries! What is going on here? Look at the hinges! They're just like a shabby hinge! Okay, okay, on with the show, sorry. <laughs> a decent three channel transmitter, got all your adjustments on here. Fender wells, cool! Ooh, 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 ooh bumpers! Battery strap, wheel nuts tool, another grill, and additional helper leaf springs. This is what I want to talk about. So the first iteration of the K10 that they released, the springs, everybody said they were a little bit stiff and they ended up taking those helper springs out. Now RC four wheel drive has already taken that into consideration and pulled them out for this model, but they gave you the extra ones just so you can do that if you want. Drive it like you built it. Stickers too, oh sweet. Wood trim, yeah that's going in there for sure. Still kind of reeling over this thing, but let's look at this. If you don't know, like this is all like, metal and aluminum and it's heavy. Those C-channel frame rails are incredibly well machined. 45 turn motors gonna give you so much torque. And it's adjustable, so if you wanna put a bigger pinion on, you can. But look at that transmission housing. Then you have a solid drive line right to the transfer case. So these are RC four wheel drive K44 axles and they come with XVD shafts. A full steering lock, this is just butter smooth. There's no hitching at all. The whole assembly is so scale and true to life. Look at those rims. <laughs> what? They're 1.9s with actual BF Goodrich mud terrains. The suspension is so cool. Yeah, they have angled blocks on here too. So what that does is it changes the pitch of the axle so the drive shaft comes in at a better angle to the differential. Metal gear. Steering servo. I'm not sure how many kgs, but it's all metal. Waterproof 60 amp Outcry 3 ESC. And the receiver box is actually the gas tank and a metal battery tray. The only thing not metal on this chassis are the drive shafts, the sliders, the body mounts, this little plastic bit here in the gas tank. The rest is all metal. We take it for granted when battery straps are installed or you get these little pieces, but it took a little bit of time but I was able to put it together and really appreciate the quality craftsmanship of this machine. So much quality. Look at the badges, handles and everything. Even the mirrors have mirrors, woohoo! Oh, hinges and everything. Oh my God. Wires are all tucked away nicely and glued in so they're not gonna be moving around. So well thought out. There's even a little fan belt. 
speechless. Busy day. We're at the base of the watershed and we're gonna make it from the bottom to the top. A lot of cool mocking trails here. <laughs> like a little mountain goat. I can't even climb that, I gotta go around. Like that's really steep. It's got so much weight, it's incredibly well balanced. Next time I come out, I'll put a 3S in it to get crazy wheel speed. better without it anyway. I may have abused it a little harder than I should have off cam. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Poor, sorry. That's okay. Good Good shots you were getting too, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, it's all good. wounds are you okay in there dude yeah he's good we're nearly at the top but I'm having a lot of fun in this creek kind of don't want to leave
you okay, bro? He's good. Extremely awesome truck. Shame about the bumper. I've only got two gripes with it. One, it's really loud. But that's what happens when you have metal gears inside something, so I can't really fault it. You get that in a basher too. And two is the clearance. Like, I wasn't really scale driving this thing. I was beating it up like a rock crawler. And it's not really made for that. It's more of trail running right now until you do some modifications to it. This little beauty got hitched up quite a few times, but other than that, there's still a leaf in there. It's amazing. And one last thing I want to bring up. RC Four Wheel Drive has a contest starting today, and it ends on March 27th. If you have the original K10, or if you pick up one of these new models, you have to the 27th to submit three sick photographs of like, scale awesomeness. You also haven't put a video in that it's driving. I'm sure more details will come out, but pay attention to their website. It's really cool. I don't know what the prizes are yet, but I'm stoked to join. So tell me what you think about this beauty in the comments below. Mm -hmm.